woman and a child. There's a woman there. Oh yeah, there was a, one of these things with a bunch of droids that I couldn't defeat. Uh oh. Quick save, just in case. <clears throat> Uh, how am I supposed to get to this thing? Oh, like that, I suppose. Right. Trauma team. Interesting. Right. The way of doing this then. Ping. What I'm dealing with. Mission. Hill! Hill! Ah, yeah! Okay, fine. Oh, you might be wondering. Let's go. Why are you running around like a Muppet with a samurai sword? Don't you have guns in this game? Yes, we do have guns in this game. However, I want an achievement that requires me to kill 300 people with a sword. So that's what we're going to do. By literally spamming the sword in combat. Charge! Hello! Oh! Uh... Not entirely sure what killed me there. I jumped. And then I died. We got taken out by a pigeon. Must have done. Heal. Ah, oh, didn't need to heal. Okay, fine. Um. Goodbye. Heal. Dead. I think. Yeah. Who's left? You are. Hello. Stabby, stabby. Oh, yeah, that was an unfortunate place to hit you. Sorry, mate. There we go. Is there? Okay. There's a lot of those little drones around, and I don't know why. Also, a dead paramedic. Pad. Bounce pad. Bounce pad, bounce pad. Bounce pad, bounce pad, bounce pad. Bounce pad, bounce pad, bounce pad, bounce pad. And now I've probably just confused most of the people who are watching. Um, right, there we go. Light transcript. To base! 3285 to base. We've been hit by an EMP. No answer, no response from base. Fluff, the EMP cut us off. Fluff, fluff, fluff. We're losing altitude. Try system reset, resetting. System's not responding. We're still falling. I'm switching to manual. We're losing altitude, but I can maintain a steady glide. Hold a wide berth from the buildings as, as much as possible. Fluff! <laughs> Come on! God, he, 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 he... And then somebody turned up and stabbed a bunch of people with a samurai sword. Marvellous. And that was the how... You know what? Never mind. I, I lost steam on that one. Um, there is a gun lost to the world floor. That's unfortunate. Right, what to do next? What to do next? Um, We have... Side job. No, I'm not going to do the side job. I'm going to do that. I'm do. I'm just wrapping up some short missions and then before the end of the stream. And then on Tuesday, we're going to hit the next big side mission. Well, sort of big side mission. Technically, I think it... No, no, it's not the last one because there's all the Johnny Silverhand stuff as well. Man having a panic attack? Well, I say a pa Those children are still weird. I say having a panic attack. Basically, he heard a gunshot and he's now... Pretending that he's a rock. Right, um... 
because the AI in this game is a bit dim-witted. Oh, no! No, no, bad idea. <laughs> this time, I need you to restore the natural balance in this city. A Valentino dropped the cop and has gone unpunished. You can change that. If you find out who's covering for the gang, there I'll pay extra. Spec attached. Okay, gun for hire. A few weeks ago, a police officer was shot dead. Same old story. Some Valentino kids got into a scrap with the badges. The fatal piece of lead was shot by a ganger named Jose Lewis. The investigation was dropped and officers from the local precinct were told to back off. Pretty interesting turn of events. Wouldn't, uh, pretty interesting turn of events, wouldn't you say? Jose must have friends in high places. Here's the deal. One of the officers wants Jose brought to justice, which is where you come in. If you happen to find out who's protecting the Valentino, I'll throw in extra. Good luck. Well, I suppose we've got the mission. Is that it? On a tight lease? Go to the bus depot. Yeah, sure. Okay, we'll do this mission. Uh, can I get down there without breaking both my legs? Yes! There we go! Problem solved. Right. So, we need to find out who killed this chap. Okay, ping. What have we got? Nope. Hmm. How are we going to do this? Um. No, 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 no. Bad CCTV camera. No. Hey, butter garlic crouton! Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to our little band of travellers, samurai. I completely missed that. Uh, the one problem I have with my new sound pack is it sounds a lot like the game. So I'm afraid if I miss your follow or your sub, then I'm not doing it deliberately. It's just I thought it was some sort of effect that was in the game. <laughs> Thankfully, I have the bot, and the bot is actually working a bit better now that I've rebooted her. Oh, CCTV camera. Friend. Camera friend. Right, um... Wasn't there a guy on the rooftop here? Oh no, it's a girl and she's down there. Never mind. Right, where am I even going? Find out why the NCP dropped the investigation. That cameras. It ain't a long walk that. Anything in here? Whatever. No, fuck that. That ain't our deal. Jose, you thought you broke the leash, but we merely loosened it. The deal was to attack your convoy, not an entire fucking Arasaka facility. You're testing our friendship, Jose. You... you... Puta! Go ahead, back away, make your noise. Show me you're all so dangerous. Then scamper away like mice. It's nothing you couldn't handle. Pleasure talking as always. Fucking pincher Ramira de mierda. Arasaka's in on it then. <laughs> Goodbye. <clears throat> Sure. Oh, let's read this. Is this tells why they dropped the investigation? All right, now what's up, thingy caregiver? Da 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 da. Fluffing happens. No one says to caregiver. What? All right, now what's up? There's a caregiver who showed up. I'm here alone. 
Da, da, da. I'll send you one of the boys to help you. No, I need you. I can't, Alberto. Alberto, have to stay put. Please just come. Can't. Something, something, something. Bye. <coughs> Messages. Last warning. There we go. Jose, our patience has been. Uh, it, uh, has its limits. We paid your bail because we all we already invested in you. An investment needs returns, but you're not untouchable. You fluff up again. You get in another gonk shootout. Instead of our help, we'll get a rope around your neck. Remember, Arasaka pays for solving problems and punishes for creating new ones. Oh, and stay close to the hollow. We'll call you as soon. Uh, we'll call you soon and tell you exactly how we're going to attack our. Uh, how you're going to attack our facility. Remember that people need to die, and that you have to use the Militech equipment we gave you. The media, it has the look like Militech, a Militech squad attacked an Arasaka facility. That's all. Uh, Gozolo Revio's funeral. Our friend of many years fell in battle during a shootout with the NC with the NC pigs. Gonzalo Rivero. He was a brother to us all. If you want to pay your respects, not like it's a fluffing choice, go to La Catira Funeral Home. Praise be to Santa Santa Marta, and remember, she gives life and she takes life. Okay, hey, cheers, Blue. Now, like a ghost, we're out of here. Still friend? Still friend. <coughs> Bonk. Crouch. All the pods right. I will as soon as I'm out of this area. That bus. That interesting looking bus. I won't try and steal the bus right now though. That would be a bit of a bad idea. No! There we go. It's V. Took care of Jose. Nice work. Really, really nice work. Did you learn who busted him out after he killed that badge? Arasaka. 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 <laughs> You're telling me a mega corp was involved in the killing of some ordinary big cop? Joffrey's death was an accident. Jose was covered for another reason. I'm still listening. He and his crew were hired to launch a full blown assault on an Arasaka facility and to do it using Militech equipment. Attacking Arasaka. On Arasaka's behalf. Shit. You need to get out of there. Seeing as I'm already here, I could stick around, try to find out more. Won't find nothing you don't already know. Location's already blown. You know more than you're telling. Spill. I'm just speculating here, but... Out with it. There's a good chance that Arasaka's looking to pick a serious fight with Militech. Maybe even all-out war. And? Jose's hit was meant to be their excuse? Kinda slim, don't you think? It's not just Jose. I've heard of other cases. Same M.O. This runs deep, B. I think Arasaka's trying to pick a fight with Militech. You don't say! Really? Militech. They must have noticed Arasaka's moves. Likely. But Militech doesn't want war. They will delay, prepare, and prepare some more. That info's worth a healthy heap in some circles. Not this time, no. Not my board. Not my game. See you around, B. Yeah, be seeing you. Interesting. Boots run deep. You see... That's now two mission lines that there's a there's a 
few missions in this game where it feels like there's there's more going on. Maybe it'll wrap up by the time we finish the end of all the Padres missions in center, but we've got Gary, uh, we've got the Prophet Gary and the, uh, I forget his name, Pereira's his mission where there's some sort of secret background thing going on with brainwashing. That didn't really wrap up, so that feels like it could be a DLC. And this is another one that feels like it could be a DLC as well, where another big story DLC where you in, get involved in an Arasaka Militech big corporate war sort of scenario. It'd be rather interesting, to be honest, but who knows? Um, right, your bonus is ready to collect. I have one more favor to ask. Let's forget this ever happened. It closed. Hmm. Cyberpunk DLC is just pay <laughs> paying for bugs. Yeah, for, well, maybe. To be honest, they're not releasing the DLC until it's until they've fixed the game, apparently. And the big DLC, well, the big patch should be coming out this month at some point. Not that they've got much time left, but it may be delayed. Right, I'm not going near the big biohazard van. That's probably going to be a bad idea. All right, 90 meters. <sighs> sure, we'll wrap up with this last mission, eh? Oh, no, we've also got the, um, collector. Oh, there's a car. Why is that in the middle of the road? <clears throat> right, let's go to this pay point and grab ourselves our reward. Hopefully I don't run into a bunch of gang members as the game loved to do in the early... I'm not even going to question that advertisement. I'm just going to keep running in this direction. Oh, no. Valentinos. Nah, I'm not gonna Upgrade upset here. the Valentinos. Not seen too much to annoy me from the Valentinos just yet. Okay. Oh, hello. Wait a minute. We've already done this one. Okay, well, never mind. Quick save. Watch as we fail. Hey, oh. Okay. <laughs> well, I did say watch as we fail. Right, let's try again. Eventually, I'll unlock this. Well, that's annoying. That, like I said before, the annoying thing is I don't know when or if I've unlocked the achievement because the game doesn't so much tell me. Backpack. Medicine. Consumables. Have a couple of chocolate bars and some coffee. That should work. Heal up a bit. And cognition. Oops. Hello. Oh well, that's it. That was like a sword. Boom! Anyone else? I have a sword. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh good lord, she actually thanked me. <laughs> An NPC thanked us for something. Ah! Right. <laughs> Normally, so often, it is just a case that the NPC sits there cowering for about five, ten minutes before despawning. But no, that one actually registered that we had done something to help them. Did we get a reward or anything? No. I suppose we might get some eddies and some street... Well, we don't have any street cred because we've already maxed out street cred. But yeah, if we might have got some eddies possibly for... They for taking out some of the bounties down there. I mean, we are a bounty hunter, so... Let's go to the drop point. Uh, 240 street crowd. Crowd. And 10 eddies. No, no point. Small front. Oh, well. He did the splits. Uh, collect rewards. There we go. Jobs are good. 
not bad. Nice little bonus there. Right, okay. The cell, 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 cell. The mocks keeping that, and we'll break down that gun. That's yeah, an epic. Destroy gun. Oh, right, no, we've got it equipped. Never mind. That's fine. I thought for a minute, then, did we destroy our legendary samurai sword? But no, it's because we've got it in our weapon slot, isn't it? Ooh, epic sunglasses. Not anymore. And anything else? No. Cool. Awesome. Oh, that's an interesting sound. Sure. Right. Uh, one attribute point. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, we've got. Enough to play with that. Cool. Do that. Then two perk points to spend. Wait a minute. Oh, right. We didn't actually use it here. No. Didn't we? Yes, we did. We put it there, didn't we? Um. Uploading three or more demons in the same breach increases cyberdeck ram recovery rate by three. Ice pick demon reduces all quick hack costs by an additional one ram unit. Ice pick demon reduces all quick hack costs by an additional one ram unit. Completing breach protocol produce, uh, reduces RAM cost of next quick hack by one time the number of demons uploaded. Or unlocks the turret shutdown demon, which disables turrets in the network for three minutes. Upgrades the mass vulnerability demon, causing enemies in the network to also take 30% more damage from quick hacks. Yes. And we're going to get maybe that one. Or uh, uploading three or more demons in the same breach protocol increases cyber deck RAM every rate by three. That might help us in a long fire fight, but we've also got shutdown cameras not really worrying about those two for the moment. Quick hacking. Have we got anything here? Eliminate target affected by... Wait. Eliminating... Okay. Maybe. Eliminating target affected by quick hacking. Allows cyberdeck ram it not below two. Reduces the cost of quick hacking by one ram unit. Quick hacking has... Quick hacking can now deal critical hits based on crit chance and crit damage stats. Oh, well, yes. We're getting that one. Awesome. Increased quick hacking duration. I need that one next. Hacker's manual. Uploading cra up unlocks crafting for uncommon hacks. Well, I don't need that because we've already got the legendary hacks. So we, yeah, that's, a, yeah, that's not needed for the moment. Live long and prosper. Bart Moss's legacy. Unlocks crafting specs for legendary quick hacks. We've got that, so we don't need that. Or any of the other ones for, like, rare... Not that we've got it, but okay, whatever. Quick hacks still 50% more damage to unaware targets. Right, yeah, I need to sort that one out at some point then. Cool, right. So we need to do a lot more hacking and a lot more side things. Hello! Good night. I don't know what, while I'm at it, I'm stealing your stuff as well. Take that. Don't worry, it's fine. It's non-lethal bullets. It was a non-lethal headshot with a revolver. Yes, that is a thing. <laughs> right, I've got this on the map, so we'll wrap up with this last mission if I can actually find my way to it. Sprint there, because who knows, maybe we'll unlock athletics, whatever, and get ourselves an extra perk point. Alternatively, I could have also fumbled a lot and I've lost my tanking bonus, but whatever, we'll see. We'll see how it all goes. Stop the assault in progress. We can do that. Breach protocol, E91C1C. E91C1C. Bup, 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 bup. Kill. You got gun. You die.
Uh, that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're getting better at that. You know what, actually, before we run the end game, what I might do is I might save up enough cash and redo all my point specs. Just work out what I need and what I don't. Because a lot of the crafting... St uh, once I can un lock the immediate crafting stuff then I should be all right and save a few perk points here and there so I could probably I could optimize V quite a lot by re re specking doing all my specs it'll take a while and it'll be a pain in the neck but we can do it and I think that's everything wait I oh, will get this first the, yeah there is cool oh, um come on do a Mario didn't need to, it's literally down there. What's this? Conversation. Troom's name is Jude Knight. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. You would sign my Bicido X poster. Troom, thingy, wibble, blah. Awesome. Right, let's grab the stuff from here. 7ABD55. 7ABD55. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. And with that, oh, oh, let that finish doing its thing. Character. So, the perk points. No, we can find perk points in the world with data sh with shards as well. So, maybe we can get all of them back. I don't know. Progression. Oh, of course. And as I progress through these, I get perk points every so often as well. So logically, if I, I've got 20, level 20 on, hold on, wait a minute, yeah, there we go. Oh, right, so we've unlock, reduce weapon upgrade cost, unlock last perk in the skill tree. Oh, right, that's crazy science, yeah, I can't do that though, because I need to perk points for that, so yeah, I'm not even need to worry about that, because sale price of crafted items, we're making enough money as it is. Engineering. Have we got any perk points to unlock? Yeah, we can unlock perk points. One perk point. One perk point. So, yeah. So, as long as I'm working through my engineering and my crafting skill sets, though, that's going to take a while. Body. Yeah, there we go. Athletics. Increase carrying capacity by nine. Stamina regen. One perk point. One perk point. One perk point. Reflexes. Blades. Don't know if I... Oh, it's at max level because... Of course it's at max level. I, I'll probably put my last perk point into reflexes and work on blades. But I have intelligence. Not unlocked everything here yet, have I? No. One perk point, one perk point. Increased buffer extension, oh, fair enough. 50, one perk point, unlocks the last perk in the tree, which is increased RAM recovery rate by 50%. Yeah, that's fine. Awesome, so we do have some breathing room. Athletics. That's nowhere near, that's gonna be, I can get to 16, so. One perk point, health. 3% increased carrying capacity, one perk point. Yeah, so we'll get a bunch of perk points as we increase athleticism, which I assume is running around a lot. Oh, we're going to have to start running everywhere, aren't we? Max stamina or using swords or punching people, I assume. I'll have to look that up. Skill progression, I'm guessing I level that up by using my fists and running and jumping and stuff. When entering combat, armor and resistance increases by 10%. Time to see Ezio do a noom. Yes, maybe. Possibly. We'll see how it all goes. Annihilation. That's not at max. Okay. Oh. Oh, that times into the attribute, doesn't it? Oh, that's awesome. Right, okay, because this... Oh, no, we use rifles, not shotguns. 
think. Maybe. Increased crit damage of shotguns and light machine guns. Increase evasion, reloading, reduce time with shotguns. Shotgun, light machine gun. Okay, right. So. Maybe if... I don't know. I'll have to look into where how that registers its leveling up. But in that case, if we take the Mox shotgun that Judy gave us... That's the saw. What? No, don't want that one. Don't want that one. Where's the Mox? Overwatch 05. Saw, Widowmaker, Crusher, Copperhead. No. No. Widowmaker. No. Come on. You've got to be around here. Mox. There we go. Craft that. Craft. There we go. So we've got a legendary Mox. And if we upgrade that... Yeah, baby. There we go. So we could upgrade the Mox and get ourselves an awesome shotgun. And then we can start using that in close range. And that'll help get Annihilation up, which means that we get perk points, which we can then use to increase our, increase our health pool and maybe our armor pool. Don't know. And then we... No, health pool. As well as once we've unlocked 16 under the body perks, then we'll be able to get our second heart, which means that we have a instant revival, a one-time revival when we die. So we have a tanky Netrunner build who... Yes, no, because my plan is that once we hit the secret ending, once we have to go through the gauntlet, the supposed gauntlet, I've not actually seen the gauntlet, it might not be anywhere near as I'm envisioning, but I'm going worst case scenario. We hit the gauntlet, Apparently it's a one-hit KO. If you die once, that's it. You have to do it all over again. So we have the second heart, and with our legendary cyber deck and our legendary cyber uh, hacking, we should be able to take care of most floors without actually having to shoot anything. And if we do, we'll have our tech rifle Widowmaker up to quite a high spec. We'll have Overwatch, which is just overpowered at the best of times. We should be able to manage it. The only reason I'm dying so much at the minute is not because is because I'm using a sword rather than my actual guns, which I'm better with because I've built my character around using guns and being sneaky. So yes, we'll see how that all goes. But we'll have to do that, I'm afraid. Uh, hold on. Crafting. Crafting. You're done. Cool. Save game. A cuckoo's nest. Game saved, because we'll have to do that next time. That's all right, Blue. It's all right being quiet. But there we go. There we go. We've done... We didn't actually do the Pan Am mission, which is unfortunate, but we'll do that on Tuesday because it shouldn't take us more than a couple of hours and then we'll just crack and then that's mostly done. I'm still waiting for this Bart Moss Collective mission to unlock. I'm starting to think it might be bugged because it, the phone never seems to ring and it's been ages. But yeah, we've started clearing Center. Previously, to those following this Let's Play, Center was is the end game area. We couldn't do anything because we were being slaughtered in five seconds. But now we've got full legendary gear, full legendary weapons, and we're starting to upgrade, which I'm going to try tomorrow if I have time. I'll sit down on this game. Tomorrow or Monday if I have I doubt it. I'll sit down and I'll try and just craft a bunch of grenades and all the legendary components we need to upgrade. And then at the start of one of the streams, we will basically just try and upgrade everything until we're up to the level cap. And hope my idea is by the time we do the final, final missions of this game, we'll have everything maxed out. We will be over leveled past the realms of insanity. Make it a cakewalk <laughs> because that's my playstyle. I'm sorry if you're looking for a challenge, that's my playstyle, especially because we're on the hardest difficulty and guns hurt. So we'll see. We'll see how it all goes. But anyway, in the interim, if you're new here, hi, I'm Ezio. It's a pleasure to meet you. If you enjoyed what you saw, well, I'd really appreciate if you hit that follow button. But the decision will always be yours. If you haven't missed any of these streams, if you ever want to catch up with our playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077 so far, well, you can find all of these uploaded to the VOD section of this very channel. You can also find a link in the panels down below to our YouTube archive, where I have uploaded in playlist format every game, every journey as I call them, that we've ever covered on this channel, from Mario 64 to Ghost, uh, completionist run of Ghost of Tsushima, 100% run of The Outer Worlds, 
There's a lot. Hello, there's a take a swig. Really? Okay, sure. Cheers, Blue. Outer Worlds. So, take a look, see if anything takes your fancy, and if not, well, thank you for stopping by. As for if you want to catch me live, well, you can find me streaming here on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 o'clock UK time, and every Saturday at 2 o'clock and 7 o'clock UK time. And I think... That's everything. Well, I had a swig anyway. It's water at any rate. It's not the end of the world. I'm slightly more hydrated than I was a second ago. But yes, I, I think that's everything. Everything apart from a thank you to each and every one of you. Be you, chatter or lurker. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Thank you for spending a little bit of your life here with me. It means the world. But anyway, I'm out of here for now. So! Raid. <laughs> You know what? We've had a good couple of raids. I think it's only fair that we pay it on. Mentioning raids, a massive thank you to Turbo Drive Live and a massive thank you to Squid for the raids. You both are awesome. Cheers for that. Now let's see who is live at the minute. Apart from oh, Gordon Bennett. Yeah, no, I don't want to go to... Oh, cool. Right, I've got two versions of my own chat in front of me now. Right, who have we got live? Oop. Oop. Uh, somebody watching wrestling, apparently? No. Uh, Ooh. Raid. Really got anyone on my watch list? Ah, I fancy raiding this evening. Um, you know what? We'll go. I'll throw in. A, I'll break the mold. I'll throw us into an art. We'll raid an art channel, eh? One of my favourites. So we will raid. Sashi or Sars. I've never actually pronounced their name. Sars. Anyway, but yeah, we'll we'll throw the raid over to their channel. Are we? So anyway, with that all said and done, until our paths next cross again. The Vortex awaits, and I'll see you all next time.